Our very top focus this hour, Prime Minister's visit to ISRO this morning. Today morning when the Prime Minister visited Bengaluru after his combined visit to South Africa for the BRICS summit as well as Greece, he first landed in Bengaluru and went to the ISRO headquarters to congratulate all the scientists for the success for the Chandrayaan-3 mission. At the ISRO headquarters, the Prime Minister was greeted by ISRO Chief S. Somnath, who also gave him several gifts as a regard. Amongst these mementos provided by the ISRO scientists were a model of the Chandrayaan-3, which consisted of three core components, the Vikram lander, the Pragyan rover, as well as the propulsion module. Among other gifts were several framed images um, taken after Vikram's soft landing of the moon. Joining us on the broadcast to discuss more is my colleague Akshit Gupta. Akshit, what can you tell our viewers about these gifts that Prime Minister Modi has received from ISRO? Minister Narendra Modi today met the ISRO scientists who were actually behind the success of the monument of Chandrayaan 2 mission. And if I just want to tell you, Prime Minister Modi also received a warm reception as he arrived at the ISRO headquarters in Bangalore today. And he also met the women scientists there who were behind the success and the implementation of the Chandrayaan 3 mission. Yeah, Akshita, there are also some other rather interesting developments regarding this. Uh, Amit Prime Minister Modi's visit to the ISRO headquarters in Bengaluru, he had interacted with uh, the women scientists who were a part of uh, the Chandrayaan project, commending the pivotal role that they had played in the successful culmination of India's maiden lunar landing mission. Remember, viewers, India is the very first country to successfully face a lander or uh, the uncharted South Pole. And this, of course, is a milestone in India's cosmic journey. Right there, viewers, you can see visuals of Prime Minister Modi interacting with uh, the women scientists who were behind the success of this project. Uh, earlier, of course, during his speech at the ISRO headquarters, Prime Minister Modi had hailed Nari Shakti and the role of women scientists uh, regarding the success of this mission. Let's, in fact, listen in to what PM Modi had stated earlier. निर्माण से प्रलय तक पूरी सृष्टि का आधार नारी शक्ति ही है। आप सबने देखा है चंद्रयान थ्री में देश ने हमारी महिला वैज्ञानिकों ने 
देश की नारी शक्ति ने कितनी बड़ी भूमिका निभाई है चंद्रमा का शिव शक्ति पॉइंट सदियों तक भारत के इस वैज्ञानिक और दार्शनिक चिंतन का साक्षी बनेगा Well, there you heard it, viewers. Prime Minister Modi hailing Nari Shakti. Meanwhile, my colleague Akshit is still with us on the broadcast. Akshit, what can you tell our viewers about Prime Minister Modi's interactions with uh, the women scientists? He has, of course, lauded them during his speech. Uh, well, uh, well, of course, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, today met with the women scientists and uh, he applauded them uh, for their efforts. Uh, in the success of the Chandrayaan 3 mission, and uh, as we heard, the Prime Minister also saying that uh, that that the, that the, uh, the point which has been named as Chief Shakti Lower, where the Vikram Lower has made uh, made the landing, uh, will be remembered for years, and it will be a testament uh, to the fact uh, 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 that how big a role uh, uh, the women have played uh, in in the success and the implementation of the Chandrayaan 3 mission. Uh, because we also heard Prime Minister saying. That a lot of tests, a lot of uh, 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 it, it is in a kind uh, uh, an exam which has been given by the scientists uh, because a lot of tests have been done uh, for the successful implementation and for the successful uh, that soft landing uh, of the Chandrayaan 3 on the south pole of the moon. Uh, remember, we ha- as we have been telling our viewers continuously that uh, India has become the first nation to uh, make that soft landing on the south pole of the moon uh, because earlier. Uh, The countries have made uh, landing on the equatorial area, but yes, of course, it, it, it's quite a daunting task to make uh, the landing on the south pole of the moon. So, of course, it's a monumentous moment, and the prime minister also hailed it, and yes, perhaps also uh, given a slogan today, uh, in which he said that Jai Vijayan, Jai Ramesh Sardhan. Well, and, and he, yes, of course, uh, applauded the efforts of all the scientists and uh, majorly the women scientists uh, who are actually. Blind success of the Chandrayaan mission. Yes, nothing. Yes. Um, meanwhile, of course, um, this is what uh, you know. You mentioned on the broadcast. Meanwhile, there are also some other inputs that we're getting from ground. These are, of course, a certain sound bites of the women who have met Prime Minister Modi. These are the women scientists itself who were at the ISRO headquarters while Prime Minister Modi was also there today morning. Let's, in fact, listen in to some of their reaction to PM Modi's visit. It was wonderful that our Prime Minister to appreciate our effort our sacrifices and to, and the way he has supported and encouraged us we are definitely going to come up with something even better and he is going to push us and as he told sky is not the limit so definitely we have to push and come up with more challenging exp- uh, experiences and more challenging mission objectives so that hum india ka naam roshan kar sake it was one From Liquid Propulsion System Center, uh, we are placed in Bangalore. So basically, I work for this uh, spacecraft propulsion systems. So I am very much uh, happy to be a part of uh, these missions. And generally, we are uh, like uh, the propulsion system is uh, what you can say the uh, the key of uh, or what you can say the heart of any propulsion. This one. So I am very happy to be part of this and very much excited actually uh, that we have successfully completed this mission and uh, we make uh, we made India proud. Shiva Shakti is the name he has given for the landing of the Chandrayaan 3, and for the Chandrayaan 2, three, Tiranga is the name he has given for the landing spot. And it is a very encouraging for us that he is here today and uh, giving such a motivational uh, talk to us and address the nation also. Indeed, it's uh, our honor that he is our Prime Minister also. And um, uh, yeah, definitely, it is uh, totally inspiring and motivating. Over the top of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, literally and figuratively both we are very happy that uh, prime minister modi has addressed addressed us uh, it is a historic event you know um, landing on the moon going to the moon india making this despite its all uh, you know all the uh, setbacks 
you know we we are able to do this it's a message that we can do anything for the entire nation for the entire uh, you know youth everybody i think this is one of the most important event in history we made history it was a very uh, very nice experience for all of us uh, for all the women uh, uh, folks of uh, india it's a magic which we have seen coming true in front of our eyes because we have been working continuously consistently for the success of this mission from a long time and uh, after seeing the chandrayaan 2 failure in front of our eyes it was like uh, we have to really strive to achieve this and to make it a success we have worked day and night our team a very strong team has worked day and night for all these four years to make this moment true for the entire team uh, to interact with the pm and he has selected uh, no he especially in, uh, like no he spoke with all the women scientists that gives like no there is uh, uh, women power is there in all these uh, system but even uh, beyond that we want to tell it is not uh, women alone it is the men also work hand in hand so the because of that only the success is uh, here and we are seeing the success yeah his spirit is so high and um, m- more than that when others are seeing especially like w- women many like i am also from my family where i am the first who has done the engineering from the women even our my uncle was there but still from the girl side i am the first so like afterwards my sisters and all also now i want more and more women to join the science medical and they should come up in the stream so it is really good that uh, our prime minister is recognizing and encouraging nari shakti that chandrayaan 2 has induced most pain in isro especially in women that could come out with chandrayaan 3 which is a well defined version so our jsl uh, mark 3 which has taken the chandrayaan to higher orbits have given its most cap- it has gone up to its most capable levels and that is the highest inspiration for our gaganyaan also so we are ready we are all set now we are works are also going on for gaganya so we hope our prime minister as well as our country just like this support us for gaganya also well there you heard it viewers from the women scientists at isro they have of course expressed elation at meeting our prime minister modi they have stated that they have been happy to be a part of this mission and to play a role in india's success and india making a mark globally uh, meanwhile of course uh, these are um, some developments that we're tracking for you viewers remember prime minister modi is set uh, to reach the national capital very soon he was of course earlier in south africa attending uh, the 15th uh, brics summit meanwhile uh, he is uh he went to greece after that and he ha- has now returned to india where he first met the scientists at isro he had particularly interacted uh with uh isro chief s somnath who had shown him different models of the different modules for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon